Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the surface area of two mathematically similar containers. So we're looking at 3D similar shape problems here. The thing that you need to remember then is that you will need to work out the area scale factor. And to get the area scale factor you have to work out the length fa scale factor first of all and then square it. So let's have a look at the example here. So these two bottles are mathematically similar and we need to work out the surface area of the larger bottle. So the smaller bottle then we have a height of 4 centimetres and the surface area of the smaller bottle is 30 centimetres squared and the larger bottle has a height of 28 centimetres and we need to figure out what the surface area of this larger bottle is. So the first thing we have to do then is work out our length scale factor. So to get the length scale factor we just divide the heights of both containers so we do 28 divided by 4 so this gives us an answer of 7. So this tells us then that the lengths of the larger bottle are seven times as big as the lengths on the smaller bottle. However, this does not mean that the surface area is seven times as big as the surface area of the smaller bottle. So what we need to do next then is work out the area scale factor. So to get the area scale factor, we have to square the length scale factor. So seven squared is 49. So this is our key number to solve the problem. So this is telling us that the surface area of the bigger bottle is 49 times bigger than the surface area of the smaller bottle. So our final step then will be just to multiply the 30 by this 49. So just get your calculator. So 30 times 49 is 1470 centimeters square. Thanks for watching.